Good afternoon, Year 8. So um, I've had a few um, requests for a video on how to do some of the math watch assignments this week because obviously they're on straight line graphs, which was a little bit more difficult. So I thought I'd go through some of the questions on math watch um, and help you answer them. Okay, so this is an example um, of the first type of question that you could be given. So it says, fill in the table of values for the equation y equals x plus 2. Now we've done lots of these before and it's exactly the same as the ones we've done. You've just got to figure out what y is by putting x where it says x. So if we've got y equals x plus 2, if I just put minus 5 where x is, so y equals minus 5 plus 2, if I do that sum, I now know that y equals minus 3, because minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. Then I can just put that where y is, can't I? Because I know that when x equals minus 5, y equals minus 3. So now I can do the same for 0. So if I know that y equals... So if I've, I should have an x according to my equation, but I know that x is 0, I can put 0 plus 2. So I know that y equals 2 um, when x equals 0. So I can put 2 in there. Now for the last one, this one tells me that y equals x is 3 in this case, so I would put 3. And then I would plus my 2, because that's my equation. So in this circumstance, I know that y equals 5. So when x equals 3, y equals 5. Now, I've done my graph, my, my table. So now all I've got to do to find the straight line is plot those, okay? So this is my x-axis going across, and this is my y-axis going up. So for the first one, I would go along minus 5 and down minus 3. So my first point would be here. Now the next one is 0 for the x-axis and up to for the y-axis. So my second point would be here. And my third point, x is 3, so I go along 3, and y is 5, so I go up 5. So that would be where my final point is. Now on Maths Watch, I would use my ruler. Um, I can't use that because I'm using a different piece of software, so I would then just draw the line through my three crosses, and I would have um, my my straight line, okay? And that would get me the, the full marks, okay? So it's all just about putting the value you've been given into the equation and then plotting the graph from that, okay? So that's how you do the first type of question. Okay, then... Obviously, it gets a little bit harder because it just says draw the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. But it's not too difficult as long as we think about what we did in the last questions. And in the last questions, we had a table. So this time, we're just going to make our own table, okay? So we're going to have x on the top like we did before and y on the bottom. Now, this time, we just get to decide our own values. So how about for the first one, um, we pop in minus 2, okay? So if we put minus 2 in there, now we can just do it, okay? So we know that our equation is y equals 2x plus 1. So this time I can just do y equals 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 plus 1. So now I know that y equals minus 3, because minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3, so I can fill that in. Next one, should we do 0? Let's do 0. So this time, we've got y equals 2x, so 2 times 0 is 0, and then I can plus my 1, so that means y equals 1 when x is 0. Let's do 2 for the next one. So if x is 2, so let's do y equals 2x, so 2 times 2 is 4, plus my 1, so y equals 5. So now I've got my very own little graph. It doesn't matter what you picked, you could have picked minus 1, 0, and 1, for example, as long as the numbers fit on the axes that I've got. Okay, so let's plot this then. So the first one, we've got x is minus 2, so we're here, and y is minus 3, so we're down here. So that can be our first plotted point. Now our second one is x is 0 and y is 1, so we can pop that in there. And then our final one, we've gone x is 2 
and we've gone y is 5. So we can pop that one there. And hey presto, we have got ourselves a straight line. So as long as we draw a nice straight line between each of those, um, then we've kind of, yeah, we've got the answer there, which is perfect. Now, interestingly, if we pop, let's do, um, let's do one, let's add one to our table. So if we decide that we wanna make sure, we can say, well, if X is one, and therefore what is y, yeah? So we've got y equals 2x plus one. So let's put one in there. So y equals two times one is two, plus one is three, so y equals three. So this time, x is one, y is three. Yep, excellent, it's on the straight line there, isn't it? Now, if we have a look here, um, we can also kind of check that we're correct, and we can see how easy it really can be by saying that, this equation says it is 2x plus 1. So y equals 2x plus 1. Now here, if you notice, we go along 1 and up 2. Okay, which is exactly what it says here, okay? Because we go along 1 on um, the x-axis and up 2. And we do that each and every time. Okay, so therefore we would know but actually, that is also a point. That is the point of minus one because that's the kind of shape that we draw each time. Okay, so make sure you've had a go at those types of questions. You just have to draw your own table, okay? Okay, so the next type of question is this one. So it's asking you to find out what the gradient of the line is. Now, the gradient just means kind of how steep it is. Now, there's a really nice, easy way of doing this, okay? So all we've got to do is draw a shape on the line. Now, the easiest way to do this is make sure we kind of start at a whole number and finish a whole number. Now, that won't always be possible. Sometimes it will be half, but I can draw a nice little triangle from here up to here, can't I? With a much straighter line, I'm sure that you could draw. Now, to find the gradient, we do the change in y, and then we divide it, oh gosh, uh, by the change in x, okay? So in this case, we can just count how many units. Now remember, it's not just squares, it's how many units. Luckily, this goes up in one. So how many have I got on this side of my triangle? I've got one, two, three, four. So I've got four here. So that, as you can see, my y-axis is the one that goes up. So I've got four here. So I can put that on the top of my fraction. Then on the bottom, I've got to put um, the uh, amount that I've got from my triangle um, in x. So I've got one, two. So I can just put two there. Now, as we know, in a fraction, four over two means four divided by two. So you can just do four divided by two. So four divided by two equals two. So the gradient of this line, as it asks us in the question, is two, okay? So we would put two as our answer here and get that correct. I will do one more of these with you now. Okay, so now that's all rubbed out. Um, so this is another example. So we're going to draw ourselves another triangle, okay? And as I said, it is easier if we can go from a whole number to a whole number. So I could start here, draw my triangle up here with a very wobbly line. Um, so one, two, three. So I've got to figure out my change in y and my, like, divide it by my change in x. So we're just going to count the squares of our triangle. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's going up and down, so that's y. So we'll put 4 on the top. And then how many do we have going across? Well, we've only got the 1, okay? So we've got 4 here and we've got 1 here. So you do 4 divided by 1, and well, 4 divided by 1, how many 4s go into itself? It is just 4, okay? So that would be your answer for this one. So make sure you have a go at those ones as well. I know there's one more type of question, but I've run out of time on this video, so I'll make one more video for you to show you how to do those, um, and then hopefully that'll make a little bit more sense, okay?